Are you feeling capped out on how much money you can make in your business? Do you wanna make even more? You just feel like you're maxed. You don't know how to get ahead? I wanna help you with today's video. My name's Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design and today's video is about this one powerful insight that can help you make millions in your business. So I know many of you, you actually have a business and maybe you've actually maxed out on how much you can actually produce or how many clients you could take. I know coaches, they are maxed out on their time, but how can they produce more money? How can you produce more money? And I wanna give you two words that can make a world of difference and that is vertical integration. So vertical integration is a strategy that allows a company to streamline its operations by taking direct ownership of various stages of its production process rather than relying on external contractors or suppliers. So what does that mean? Well, I remember hearing a story many years ago about these brothers that owned a deli. Now, this deli was actually crushing it. They were doing awesome. They would have a line door and lunch out the door, blocks down the road, and they were pretty much maxed out. And so one day they come together and they say, okay, let's meet every Friday for an hour and talk about different ways to think about how we can make more money in our business. So they meet for the first week and they're like, okay, well, what can we do? We could stay open longer. No, that we got family. People might not want to buy. We could raise our prices. Well, people love our services, but we don't want to raise our prices. They didn't have any good ideas the first week. And this kept going on for weeks after weeks after weeks until one of the brothers, one meeting, actually sat down and said, hey, where do we get our bread? And they talked about where they got their bread and they said, what if I actually could create a bread company where we could get it at cost and we can make money selling bread to other delis around the area? And they thought it was brilliant. And they said, yes, let's do that. A couple weeks go by, they build this bread company, they start getting customers, they're making money from this new company, and they're getting bread at a wholesale price, and their company, the deli, starts making more money. And then they come back and they meet again, and they say, hey, guess what? We actually get lunch meat from somewhere. And so they went and built a lunch meat business and they did this for different aspects of their deli business. They increased their deli's business by actually creating other businesses that were in this vertical integration of their deli business. Vertical integration helped them produce more income and their current model, business model, got to make even more money. So some of you are out there, you actually have a business, whether it's in real estate, coaching, or any other business out there. Let me share with you one of the things that I'm looking to do as I'm moving forward on vertical integration. So Master Life by Design is all about servicing clients, right? And so I started thinking about vertical integration. I said, well, what does this type of business need, right? A coaching business or a service-based business, what does it need? It needs leads. And so I said, okay, great. How do I create leads? Oh, marketing. So Master Life by Design is going to be creating a marketing company that's part of Master Life by Design that we're doing all of Master Life by Design marketing and being able to help other companies. And so we can get free marketing from experts that we build on our team while creating revenue from other companies that we're helping service. So stay tuned, if you're a company that could use some marketing, Master Life by Design will offer them too. And so I'm also thinking, how do I pay my coaches that work for me? How do I pay contractors that work for me? And so all of a sudden I'm like, well, they need to get paid. We gotta do that through a website. Maybe I create a payroll company. So I go out and help companies with payroll solutions, right? So that might be down the line. And so I'm starting to think about what else can I integrate in my business? You may want to pause and take some time to think about how can you have vertical integration into your primary business? If you're a dentist, maybe you get your supplies from somewhere and you could actually use those supplies and or get those supplies at wholesale and go turn around and have someone go sell them to other dentists. So before I wrap up, I want to share where did this come from? A few weeks back, I went to a business ministry event for our church in Salt Lake City, and everyone was talking about vertical integration. Now, I knew about it, but the stories that I heard from people that had a primary business and they were building companies that helped supply their current company while producing money in these new companies started to add up. And I started hearing success story after success story about how their business that was making good money started crossing seven figures, or if they were already making seven or eight figures, they were creating other 
other businesses that were making seven figures. How many of you could actually use another six or seven figure business in conjunction with your business? Now, here's a challenge I know. Some of you might be sitting there saying, well, Joe, I don't have the time. And if you're saying that to yourself, I want you to know this. You're actually thinking like an employee and not a business owner. What do I mean by that? You want to start thinking about who can I leverage? Remember, there's a great book out there called Who Not How. And the biggest challenge for new business owners is they always think about how they can get the job done versus who they could leverage to get the job done for them. So if you're creating this new company, you don't have to be the one that does it all. You could actually give equity, and I recommend performance equity versus equity in the company because they could walk away with and do nothing in the company but receive a portion of equity. So you want performance equity in your operations agreement. That's for a whole nother video. But you can give them equity so that they have a vested interest in growing that company with you. So I know it's easier said than done. And sometimes there's a fear that holds us back from actually doing that, whether it's fear of time, fear of resources, or can this actually work? So if you're one of those people that need help identifying a business to get started so you can think about vertical integration, or you already have a primary business and you're like, I'm not sure how I can use this vertical integration in what I'm doing, or maybe you're just fearful of how to actually implement all this, what I'm gonna ask you to do is apply for coaching. Go to masterlifebydesign.com, go to the coaching, fill out that application so that one of our coaches can help support you breaking through because I will tell you, a small investment in yourself can pay a huge dividend in your new business and pay 10X what you invested in yourself. With that, if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, comment on it, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button because we're coming out with videos every single week and we're doing reels and videos every day on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, so make sure that you check that out too. And so with that, if you have any questions, put them in the comment below. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great one. See you guys.